In this video, we'll balance the equation Na plus H2O as a redox reaction. So you could probably just look at this and balance it at the coefficients just by inspection, but we want to think about it as a redox reaction. So with redox reactions, the first thing we need to do is write the oxidation numbers for each one of these elements. So I've written them in here. If you need help, there's a link in the description on how to find these oxidation numbers. As we look at them, sodium goes from a zero so it's changed its oxidation state. So this is a redox reaction. Think of it this way. The sodium is zero. If it loses an electron, if it loses a negative charge, it becomes positive. So the sodium has lost an electron, became positive one. We say it's oxidized. The hydrogen here goes from a plus one to a zero. So it gained a negative charge, negative one, positive one. That gives us zero. So it has gained an electron. If it gains an electron, it's reduced. Some people remember Leo the lion says, Gur, lose electron oxidized, gain electron reduced. So we have that information there. Now we can write the half reactions. So we'll start with sodium. Sodium, that goes to the NaOH, the sodium hydroxide. That's one of the half reactions. Then H2O, that goes to the H2. So at this point, the atoms aren't balanced. We have an O and an H here. We don't have that over here. We're going to assume we're working in acidic medium here. That's what you do most of the time, unless specified otherwise. So we can add water over here, H2O, and that'll give us our oxygen. So now we have an oxygen and an oxygen, sodium, sodium. That's good. But we have two hydrogens here and one here. We can also add H plus this hydrogen ion here. So those are the two things we can add, H plus and H2O. So now all of the atoms, they're balanced. The problem is the charge isn't balanced. And when we're dealing with redox, we're dealing with charge, the exchange of electrons. So remember, we said the sodium lost an electron. So if it lost an electron, this electron is going to be over here. We'll just write E minus for our electron. And we know we're right because we have a positive and a negative. This whole side here adds up to zero. This here has no charge. It's neutral. So charge is conserved. Atoms are conserved. This is our half reaction. Down here, we need an oxygen. So we're going to add a water. But then we have four hydrogens here and just two. So we're going to add two H plus. And again, where charge is not balanced. Remember, the hydrogen went from a plus one to a zero. So it gained an electron but there's two hydrogens. So we've gained two electrons plus two electrons. And we know that's right because we have two times one plus the two plus and then the two negative electrons. All of this adds up to zero. This is all neutral. So that's how we know we're right. So we have our two half reactions and think of it this way. These are the reactants and these are all of the products. So we have our reactants and products. This makes together a full reaction. The problem is in our reactants, we have two electrons. In our products, we only have one. That doesn't make any sense. Charge isn't balanced. So we can multiply everything here by two. And that would fix the electrons. And now we can put all of this together for a final equation. So two times the one water, so two H2O. Two times the sodium, so two Na. And then we're still here with the reactants. So we go down here, we have the two H plus two electrons, and we should have a plus sign there, and then the one water. So these are the reactants. Now for the products here, we have two times these things, and then we have these things as well. I'm just going to write that in. At this point, we can cross things out that are the same on both sides, like the two hydrogen ions here, two electrons. We have two waters here, one water here, and then in the products we have a water, we can cancel that out. And we're left with the balanced equation. So if I remove everything I canceled out, it'll look like this. So again, you probably could have just balanced this by looking at it to get this answer. Whether you do it by inspection, or you go through this whole redox procedure, you'll get the same final balanced equation. And that makes sense. Atoms are conserved and charge is conserved. For more complicated reactions, the redox methodology works really well for balancing them. Some of them you really can't do by inspection. This is Dr. B with the redox reaction for Na plus H2O. Thanks for watching.